While installing software on your Windows PC, you might have come across two types of files. One is .exe and another one is .msi. For example, while downloading the Firefox browser, you get the option to choose between .exe and .msi. In this video, you will learn the difference between .exe and .msi and know if one is better than the other and why. Now first understand what is exe file. It is not actually an installer. It itself is a program. When you run the exe file, it could trigger the installation or run the program itself. Whenever you open files like doc or txt, the file only contains the information. And another program like Microsoft Word or Notepad will read the information and present you. Xe file is a program itself. It can do several things. It can simply run and read other files like Photoshop file format or PDF file format, or it can be used to install a program only. While the MSI file, which itself says its name is Microsoft Installer, its whole purpose is to install a program. It cannot be used as a program like Xe file. MSI file doesn't actually execute any code. It just includes the set instructions. When you run an .exe file, it does everything. It puts all files in the correct place and makes the registry changes. Whereas an MSI file is like a container. It has the instructions and then some other program takes that data and does the actual installing. And that program is the Windows API. In simple words, when you run an MSI file, you are basically telling the Windows that I have this program to install. Can you do this for me? Then Windows takes control. It set up everything putting files in their dedicated location, changing registry keys, etc. For this, Windows has a dedicated program called msiexec.exe. It handles everything whenever you run the MSI file. So the end result for both files will be the same, whether you use XE or MSI file, they both are going to install the program. So you might ask why to chose one over the other. You might ask which file is better to use, XE or MSI. It entirely depends on the use case. If you are a normal user who wants to install a program and use it, then it doesn't really matter to you. You can use any of the files to install the program. However, there is a slight advantage if you choose the MSI file, which we will discuss a little later. However, if you are a person who manages enterprise computers, the MSI has a big advantage for you. You can use the MSI to install the program on several computers at once. It has several standardized switches that stay the same, and you can use these switches to configure the installation. For example, you can use the quiet mode in which the installer won't take any input from the user and install itself in the background. So you don't have to tell everyone where to click, which option to choose over the phone or use the passive mode where only the progress bar shows. If you are using the XE file to do the same thing, there are several software products that you need to purchase, and you don't even know which switches or parameters are being used in the installer until you look for them. Another advantage of the MSI file installer is that it automatically records everything that it did to install the program and creates an uninstall option for that program. Although the XE installer also includes an uninstaller for the program, but programs like PUPs might not include the uninstaller and you find it difficult to uninstall that program. Also, the uninstaller that they include might not remove everything that it puts back and you wouldn't know that for sure. The MSI file doesn't depend on the installer to include what to remove. Instead, it records everything that it does during the installation and rolls back those changes. However, if any files are created after the installation, the MSI installer wouldn't know about those files and could be left during the uninstall. Another advantage of the MSI file is it could not be a virus. The exe file could be anything. It could be a legitimate program installer, or it could be a virus or a program that downloads the virus on your PC. The MSI file doesn't execute anything. It just has a set of instructions. It's possible that the MSI could be set to download and install the virus. However, it will be easy for the cyber criminals to distribute the virus as an exe file. This is the reason it's not very common that the MSI will have the virus. 
When it comes to virus infection, it doesn't matter if it is an MSI or XE file. The only thing matters is from where you are downloading it. If you are downloading a program from the official website, it's good. However, if you download it from a torrent or any shady website, you can't really know what you are installing. It could be anything like adware, bloatware, or spyware. So if you ask me if I select MSI over XE file, my answer would be yes. I would prefer installing the program using an MSI file. However, it is not very common where you get the MSI file installer. Like in this example, I showed the Firefox MSI file. When you click on the download button, it directly downloads the XE file. If you want to download the MSI file, you will have to go to this link, download options and other languages, and then select the MSI installer. The same goes for the Chrome. If you try to download Chrome, you won't see any option for the MSI file. If you want it, you need to search for Download Chrome Browser for Enterprise. Then here you get the option to select a bundle or MSI only. So if you prefer the XE file installer, you can download it from the official website. If you want to look for an MSI file installer, you will have to search for it specifically. So in the end, if you ask, does it make any difference if you choose XE or MSI file, there is not really much difference. However, you should incline towards the MSI file if there is a choice. That's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends and family. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.